Hello everyone and welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. Well, I don't have the Goodwill Outlet Haul video to share with you yet today. That's going to have to be a little bit later on in the weekend, but I do have what I think is a really good thrift haul to share with you. I want to show you some things that I got free, some, free from two of my friends, and then I'm going to start with some things that I picked up at the Durham Rescue Mission bins. And depending on how long that takes, then I'll get started sharing with you some things that I picked up at the Winston-Salem Goodwill Retail Store a while I was there yesterday with my friends Heidi and Kelly. Now, I've said this before, and I just want to remind you that my friend Heidi does have a channel. It's called The Weathered Fence Post. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box for this video below. Go ahead and check her out, please, because I know you're going to want to see what she picked up when we went to the Durham Rescue Mission bins and the retail store yesterday as well. So go over there and, as they say, um, show her some love. So let me show you the things first that Heidi gave to me. And I'm pretty sure that she may have picked these up at the bins. She got me another roller, so I'll be able to use this when I am crafting. Um, I think this says something on it. I think it says Taiwan on it. And then she picked up this uh, greater top for a Tupperware. Now, funny thing is that the same day she gave me that, I found one at the bins in a white color. The one she found was green. Now, let me go run downstairs into my family room, get you some, and get something else that she picked up for me. Hold on, because I will be right back. Heidi has such a kind and thoughtful heart. I saw these wind chimes that she had thrifted on her channel a while ago, and I made a comment about them and uh, that I wanted to buy them from her. She wanted nothing to hear about that. She gifted them to me yesterday, and here they are. They're vintage. They were either made in um Taiwan or Japan I can't remember now what I want to do with these is I want to hang them outside of my kitchen window because now with spring and the nicer weather coming whoops here we go I want to put them outside my kitchen window so that when I open my window this is what I'm going to be able to hear outside I just love them they are solid brass and just as sweet and dainty as they can be so Heidi thank you so so much for not only the other two pieces, but these wind chimes. I love them. Okay. Uh, then my friend Rhonda came over the other night and dropped off a few things for me. The first is a set, oh, goodness, of four, I think they are. One, two, three. Three posters. I think it might be missing one. Is it missing one, Rhonda? Um, they are from, they're called Fantasia from Princess House. And I know that folks do collect Princess House. So these will be great. Um, put those up into my booth. Oh, and she also gifted me these. There are two of these little trinket dishes. So there are two of those. And then two of these, which are... I love the pattern on these. I think they're so pretty and so dainty. And these are from uh, Lefton. It's a little hard to make out. The sticker is there a little bit. And she said that she thinks that these are from her great grandmother. So that is pretty cool. So that really gives those some age. And then this packet of six, na six napkins, eight napkins. Really great fall colors in here. Put these away for the fall booth. And these adorable little coasters. I wonder if they're all the same. I haven't even looked. Yes, they are. They're all little snowmen, the same snowmen. And this looks like it's embroidered maybe. So cute. Uh, these, we're guessing, are coasters. 
One is daiquiri and the other is margarita. Now this clock, um, she told me I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to be kind of doing a kind of a flip with this later on. Uh, this is a glass dome on it. The clock, oops, the clock itself is plastic. This base is metal. So without giving away what entirely what I plan on doing with this, um, I will be removing the clock part of it. So that's just a little tip that I'll share with you for right now. But that will be in an upcoming video. Okay. And then this beautiful and very heavy cake, a stand and dome and Oh my goodness, both of these pieces are, let me tell you, heavy, heavy duty. No markings on either piece, so I don't know who they are made by, but oh my goodness, this is a nice, sturdy cake stand and lid. Oh, here we go. So, that is everything from my friend Heidi and from my friend Rhonda. So ladies, if you're watching, thank you both very, very much. Now let me get to the things that I picked up at the Durham Rescue Mission bins. First, I have no idea if there's any interest in these vintage cake toppers or not, but I did pick this up and there is a, hold on here. Gotta put the second set of eyeballs on. This is from, I believe it's made in Hong Kong. Yep, made in Hong Kong for Wilton. I know I saw a date in here. Oh, goodness. Well, now that I'm looking for it again, I cannot for the life of me find it. Shoot. Nope, can't find it now. But there is a date in there. Just apparently very, very difficult to see. Um, now, it does have some spots where it looks like they try to uh, glue it back again. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try and fix that or if I'm just going to try and sell it just the way that it is. Oh, and don't forget, I almost did. Don't forget, watch through to the end of the video and make a comment down below and let everybody know what your favorite find was from today's haul, and I will do the same for you. Now, who knows what this is? Any idea what this might be? Same on the front, top and the bottom. Well, if I had a wine bottle here to show you, I would actually demonstrate it. But you put a wine bottle up through here, and then you hang your wine glasses off of there. I've seen these out in, um, there's a place called the Painted Tree in Cary that is just full of different kind of vendors. Um, oh my gosh, clothing, soap, tea, candies, baked goods, all kinds of things, and handcrafted goods. And I have seen these in some of the handcrafted vendor spaces. Um, I can't remember the prices on them now, but I'm pretty sure they weren't very inexpensive but I thought that was kind of cool so I will stage this up in the booth with an empty wine bottle and then some wine glasses hanging off of that and then I picked these up not for the motif on it or on this one but I want to do some craft projects for on both of these so that will be upcoming this I did pick up to put in my booth come Christmas time. I don't know, there's something about it. I just really liked it. And let me see, this is from Ashland. Uh, it's a tabletop decor, it says. Okay, not Hobby Lobby. I was kind of thinking this might've been a Hobby Lobby piece, but it is not, but I think it's really pretty. And I picked up another pet carrier. Now, if I would just start listing these on Facebook Marketplace, maybe some other ones sell. Picked up a bag of shredded uh, paper. Not sure I'm going to use it for. Uh, Easter basket, maybe. 
but I think all the Easter baskets that I have had so far in the booth have sold, but I can put it away for later. And then I found one piece of macrame, which is this. And then you can put a plant in, come on now, in the bottom of it. So it would be a hanging macrame plant hanger. Very nicely done. These, <clears throat> excuse me, I am not sure if these are going to sell, but I thought I would give them a try. You know, at the bins, it doesn't cost a whole lot. I got two sets of these, um, I guess they're shoe forms, made in, oh, made in the USA. Well, how nice. By Woodcroft. These both are Woodcroft. And then I hope, oh dear, <laughs> Oops, I got another one from Woodcroft and one from Harry's Shoes. So I certainly can't sell those two together, but I definitely can sell the Woodcroft ones together. And then I will just have to, next time I go, hope that the other Woodcroft is in one of the bins and Harry's Shoes is in the other one of them. This one is kind of cool though, because it looks like this one you would be able to hang on a rod once you put the shoe over the form. So that one's kind of cool. Then I think I picked a cup, up a couple of bags. Uh, first I got this makeup holder and it's kind of a like a soft velour and it's a Vera Bradley. It is in beautiful condition. I mean absolutely beautiful. Clean as a whistle. Yep. I wonder if anybody ever used this. So I was happy to find that. Happy to find another Vera Bradley. And I have sold, to date, I have sold one Vera Bradley bag in my booth and then sold a couple of more at a consignment shop. So I was happy that I picked those up in the long run. Now this bag, I honestly was surprised somebody didn't pick this up before me because the bag... Uh, bin had been gone through but this was still in fact all of this stuff was still in it so I think some folks missed out because they were in such a hurry to go through things and this is a suede bag I just noticed now it has a little mark on it right here but hopefully I will be able to get that out with some suede cleaner this is by Empress made in Hong Kong so I think this might be a vintage bag. Although, is this a magnetic cla um, clasp on it? Oh, it is magnetic. Okay. For some reason, I had this thing in my head that if it was a magnetic clasp, it wouldn't be vintage. But anyway, great, great bag, I think. And then this one, too, I can't believe that people passed up. It is a woven bag. It's hard. And then it snaps, come on, snaps open and closed with this beautiful blue interior. And if, well, I'll have to do a little bit of gluing on it right there. It looks like it's starting to come out. If there was a tag in it, yep, it's gone now. But isn't that a cool looking bag? I would definitely use this. And I think this has a boho feel to it as well. So I was really happy with those. This one I'm going to be keeping for myself because it has damage on it. I knew it had damage on it when I purchased it, but I do have some, uh, some hooks out in my laundry room as you first come into my home. And I think what I'm going to do is put this on one of the hooks, and then I think I might have saved a floppy hat. That Yes, Lewis. Well, are you going to get in there? You want to get in there? have a floppy hat, I, at least I think I still do, uh, that I can put on one of the other hooks, put this on one of the hooks and put some flowers and maybe some gardening gloves hanging out of it or something. I think that would look really cute kind of staged. So that is everything that I picked up at the Durham Rescue Mission bins. Now, Give me a second. I do have a few more minutes. Give me a second, and I'm going to, head, going to go ahead and grab the things that I picked up at the Goodwill retail store when we were out in Winston-Salem. Give me a second.
Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. Now what I've decided is I'm going to show you a few of the things that I picked up and then just in, because of time, I'm going to save the other ones for when I do another video. I'll show you the rest of the things that I got at the retail store and then I'll start to show you the things that I got at the outlet because I got a lot of really good stuff at the outlet. It was a great day for thrifting. Now this, I just realized, I knew this little guy. Oh, and I spent, I think, a total at this retail store of $57, I think it was. I rounded up. Now, I knew this was a wax warmer when I bought him because he has wax in him. But for some reason, it wasn't clicking that the part that goes in here and then plugs into the wall was missing. Now, I got it for the owl itself, not because if it was it was a wax warmer. And I really hope that just this owl, once he gets all cleaned up and everything, is going to appeal to someone. Um, yes, yeah, so you can't even put like a tea light candle up inside of him. It's just not big enough. So I was a bit off on that one. I found these two uh, brandy sn sniffers. <laughs> um... They are really grimy, but they will be cleaned up, and I'll see how they do in the booth. These I was super, super happy to find. Look at the size of these apothecary jars. Oh my goodness. So I am going to clean these up. I'm not going to put anything inside of them, and I'm just going to sell them as is because I got a really good price on them. So I will be able to sell them at a great price, and these are heavy, heavy duty, let me tell you. I nabbed these as soon as the young lady put them out onto the bottom shelf. I went over and picked them up right away. Now this, this I'm taking a chance on because I paid up on this, but I just thought it was really, really cool. It's this wooden handled, okay, close your ears, brass bell. Doesn't that sound like something that you would hear on a boat? I think it is amazing. Um, I don't, and look at even, I mean, even that little, and it's not a clanger, I forgot what they call this thing, but even that is brass. This is really, really cool. I wish I could date this. It does have a little bit of corrosion right there, but I'm hoping that that is not going to deter from its finding a new home. I uh, found another picture. I've kind of been now recently on the hunt for them. And this is a, a luster wear. This is just beautiful, except for the inside, which needs to be cleaned. Um, the, the black around here, it's a really, oh, it's like a blue-gray kind of color. Beautiful color. And then the handle is black here. Um, it's really hard to make out, I think. But this was made in Czechoslovakia. I think this is gorgeous. And then can you see that detailing there on the front of it? Beautiful piece. I was really happy to pick that up. Lewis, you are just crowding an already crowded countertop. Then got this whole bag of mostly salt and pepper shakers, but I'm going to take them out and show them to you. Come on, look out, buddy. I believe I got them home and I did not break them. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, well, he's heavy. They just keep coming. Oh. Here, got them all. Okay, first we have, well, this one I see has a nasty little chip on the bottom of it. These, they're really cute. It's a shame the one has a chip on it. These really cute little clear glass salt and pepper shakers. I like the tops on them. It almost looks like a, a crown or something. But as I said, that one does have a, whoop, a pretty significant chip on the bottom so 
I may just donate these and see if someone doesn't mind the chip on it. Uh, these are adorable. No markings on the bottom. These cute little puppy dog salt and pepper shakers. I think they're sweet. Now, have I sold any salt and pepper shakers in the booth? I think the only ones that I can remember anyway so far selling are Tupperwares. But you never know, right? These are adorable. These I wish, well, you'll see what I wish. These are from False Craft. Now, one has the stopper, one doesn't, so I will have to get some replacement stoppers for them. But look at how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. I think it is just adorable. Now, this one is missing its mate, sadly. But maybe I could market this as like a sugar shaker instead of a salt shaker. That could work. Or I could do salt and pepper like that and do a sugar shaker. Oh, I think that's what I will do because if you notice, one of these is the salt, one of is the pepper. I forget which has the more holes in it. So these are the two that actually do to go, go together. This guy is the one that was missing his mate. This is the one that I am going to go ahead and try and market as a salt shaker, sugar, a sugar shaker. And then these have, I think, the same pattern on them, again, from Falls Craft. But these are super, super pretty. I think these are gorgeous. So we have, let's see, so far, one damaged, one, two, three three, four, and five salt and pepper shakers from that bag. Now this, hmm, this does have 6-25, and that might be false craft up there. That's really, really hard to see. These remind me of lighthouses. I mean, turn that around. That looks like a lighthouse to me. But again, I think these are really, really pretty. Um, I think, yep, that is everything that I wanted to show you for today. I got to save some, got to have a little mystery, right? And I'll save the rest of it for my next haul video. My favorite that I thrifted, that is, oh gosh, let me see. Okay. Crazy, I know. Oh, I got a fuzzy here. Are these apothecary jars? Got them at a great price. Love. In fact, I got these huge ones sometimes, or for the price that I sometimes pay for the small ones. So this was a really, really good deal. I I did pay three ninety nine a piece for these. So this these are my favorite. And as I said, there are two of them. That is my favorite. <laughs> And don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let us all know what your favorite uh, thrift haul find was from today's video. Don't forget, go and check out Heidi's channel at the Weathered Fence Post and leave her some love. Make sure to tell her that I sent you there. And share this video with other folks that you know that love thrift haul videos. That would really help me out a lot. And if you are not already subscribed and you do enjoy thrift haul videos, don't forget to hit that uh, so subscribe button and all notifications bell so you don't miss my upcoming Goodwill Bins thrift haul. Uh, and like the video if you did. That would be a great help too. So thank you so much everybody for watching and until next time please take very very good care of yourselves and bye for now.